Hi, my name is Jose Ruiz, and today we're going to talk about iOS 10 on an iPhone 6 Plus, which is an older model, and the Watch OS 3 on the Apple Watch Series 1, <laughs> which is an older model. Let's get started. First, let's look at the iPhone. For the iPhone, there's going to be two parts. One is going to be without voiceover. The other half is going to be with voiceover. So, let's start without voiceover. So, if I were to click the lock button on my screen, new notifications. Notifications look a little different now. Uh, notification center looks a little different. I'm going to bring up the brightness so it's easier to see. There we go. All right, so that's how the screen looks now. Now, the problem now is there's no swipe to unlock anymore. So whenever you swipe all the way to this side, you get your widgets and all the stuff you'd look at. All right, um, right now I got a YouTube notification. Now, to, and if you swipe to the left, like if you have your finger on the screen and you swipe your finger all the way to the left, you'll end up bringing up the camera. Hooray. All right. So it's easier to get to the camera. Instead of clicking that little tiny thing in the bottom, it's really so much easier now. So if you swipe to the right, as if you were unlocking the phone, you get the widgets panel, as I said before. Um, now to open it, or to put a password in, if you don't have a fingerprint, you have to press the home button. Now it's unlocked. If you swipe to the left, or swipe to the right, sorry, um, as if you're unlocking your phone, you get to the widgets again. You swipe down from the top, you get your notification center. Sorry, not notifi uh, there we go. And all the notifications that you get. Uh, notifications are a little different now. Uh, it's suffice to say, or, <coughs> sorry. I'm trying to say is that notifications are a lot different now. They they really they look different. They pop a little better. Um, with messages, you can send weird little or you can send larger emojis and stuff like that. Um, but really, for iOS 10, there's really not much that's changed other than the control center, which has two screens now, so the now playing's on the second screen, and on the first screen is um, all your toggles. And the night shift button is really large at the bottom, which is kind of nice, because I can get to it without using voiceover. Uh, in apps, get something a little different, but the problem is, is without force touch, sorry, 3D touch, there's really not much to having the new update other than the speed like if I were to click on an app and I didn't really want to go into it normally uh, on the older software you'd have to wait for it to load which would take forever and you're clicking home for it to go home now it's instantaneous so I'm gonna click on settings and then click home pretty much instantaneous let me click on YouTube then home Pretty much instantaneous. It exits the app. Of course, it shows up in your control center, or sorry, not your control center, your um, <laughs> app switcher. But other than that, that it's pretty simple there. For the clock app, there's some new features here. So if you go here, get your alarms, then you get your sleep. So when you set this up, depending on the days you set it. It tells you when you must go to sleep. It'll tell you 15 minutes before, and then it'll give you snooze button, so you can get reminded 10 minutes later, and then you go to sleep then. But it gives you the amount of time you need to sleep or whatever. So for me, it's 2 a.m. in the morning till 8 a.m. for a perfect night's sleep for me, so it's six hours. Uh, I'm a short sleeper, so <laughs> not too much there to explain. But it wakes you up with soft music that you get to choose, and I find it to be kind of helpful. 
it does help in the morning it does get you up on time and it can tell if you fall asleep or not so it keeps track of your sleep and if you're doing okay and if you're healthy for me it probably says i'm not healthy but for me this is the perfect amount of sleep so that's that's new with that um sorry the sounds are a little different too so oh oh no uh, <laughs> okay six Oh, yeah. Okay, six hours. So, the next tab, like, let's say I want to set a um, timer. If I can. Now, it's a stopwatch timer. I have to turn on voice over here. Give me one second. Okay. So, when you scroll on the hours now, it makes a more clicky and more audible sound. Which, I don't know if you can hear it, so let me turn my phone up a little more. All right. Let's see here. Here we go. Let me. <laughs> Sorry. Let me bring it closer to the microphone so you can hear it. So, yeah, it makes this weird little clicking noise. Um, that's the really the biggest change that it has with the sound. Sorry. I want this thing to go back. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna set that later. But other than that, it really didn't change much. Other than it is dark in the app. Um, the <laughs> I keep on clicking on it, but the uh, clock app, it's dark and it. I don't know. It's a little more comforting to look at. I wish there was a dark mode on the iPhone, but there isn't at the moment, which is a little upsetting. So <laughs> I'm not gonna drag on too long. So let's move on. Um, Keyboard sounds. Um, let me see a good place to randomly type. Or all right, give me one second. I'm doing this in real time. There's not going to be too much editing. If you don't like it, I'm I'm sorry. But these are the keyboard click sounds now. That's the space bar. And then for the back. New line. So. So yeah, the, the keyboard clicks are a little, a little different and a little weird and may or may not be hard to get used to. Um, the lock sound, it is different now. Uh, let me move my microphone closer so you can hear it, but lock sound is a little different. Here we go. Here. It sounds like a door, and there is no unlock sound, as per usual for the new update. All right. Now let's get into the voiceover. Jump into portion. voiceover differences. So I'm going to move my microphone back to, or the things that are different with voiceover. I'm going to move the microphone back to the front. All right. I'm going to turn on voiceover. Here. Okay. Voiceover is on now. Tuesday, September 24th. 70%. 60%. 55%. Okay, now it's at a reasonable volume. So now with this, you. 3 12 p.m. To do uh, the swipe to Today. the left with YouTube. three fingers. Button. 3 swipe again. PM. Swipe to Viewfinder. the other side to bring the camera. Focus unlocked. Image. Alright. Um, Press home to unlock. 
No, it says press home to unlock. You can... Press home to unlock. You still have but to have the concentration three three at the top bars. to um, bring up the control mode. center. Switch button. Off. So everything Double in the control tap, center goes as follows. Airplane mode. Airplane. Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. Do not disturb. Lock orientation. Switch brightness. 32%. So the brightness Adjustable. is right below that. Airplay. Mirroring. Airplay. Button. Airdrop. Everyone. Night shift. Off until sunset. Switch button. Flashlight. Flashlight, Switch the button. bottom left corner. Timer. Timer. Calculator. Calculator. Camera. And camera. Button. Page two of two. Audible. Button. This shows the last app you Double had. Tap to continue listening. You had um, listened to whenever you swipe to the next page and your audio controls and all that are there. 3, 14 PM. Did you hear that sound? I'm pretty sure you did. So when you unlock your device, 3, you can PM. unlock the device without leaving the lock screen. So like if you need to um, get rid of some emails or something like that, you can do that from the lock screen. 3, 14 PM. So you just rest your finger on the home button. And you'll hear a little unlock sound. 3.14 p.m. That sounds like an unlock, you know. <laughs> That's the sound I wish was there whenever you were actually using the phone, but it's not. And um, 3.14 p.m. There's a sound whenever the screen turns off. Um, here we go. It doesn't say screen off anymore. It has like a little weird little chime. 3.15 p.m. To tell you that the screen is off. Plus the lock sound, depending on if you've unlocked a device. 3.15 p.m. So, now I've unlocked it, and you have to click the home button to enter. Calendar. Tuesday, you can change this September in settings, 20th. but... Double tap to open. Um, that makes it to where you rest your finger on the home button to unlock. Um, that, I, see, I feel, is probably not a good idea, because whenever you tap on home button, you automatically open it. And you may not want to go into an app that you're already in, like let's say messages, and there's a message that you do not want somebody to read. Um, you know, you, you really don't want that to pop up, so you just kind of go with it, I guess. And You're stuck showing the other person that you read their message when you don't want to show them that you read, your, read the message. Or you could have that turned off, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just saying that there's there's some drawbacks to having the home button have to be like to where you're not clicking it to open some people may see it as a convenience but i see it as a really good feature <laughs> all right so let's get on to other things double tap to open music double tap to open now to move something you can arrange apps swipe up activate arrange apps so you click arrange, arrange apps, apps. And music. You move it the way you would normally do. Off Safari, row five, activate, default. Finish editing. And so you don't have to hold hold it down anymore to make it um, switch. Other than that, all voiceover commands are the same. However, if you do get a message that shows up at the top of the screen um, for a text message, I do not have another device I can send myself a message with and use that function. I'm going to show you messages in a minute. But you would have to swipe to see more actions, and then it'll give you the option to bring the message to full screen without entering the messages app. I found that there is a few bugs with that, so use that at, at your own risk. But it works well whenever it does work, and when it doesn't, it really fails really badly. So <laughs> with that said... All voiceover commands are the same. There's no new ones other than the ones that it specifies. So the arrangement of apps is the only real new um, voiceover trick um, that I have found at the moment. Other than that, if there are more, please put them down in the comments. I'd really love to know. But other than that, this is what I have. <laughs> I've only spent a week with this and this software, and it is more the same than it is new. Um, let me move on to messages, and I'll show you the new stuff there. So let's get on with that.
All right, now we're moving on to the messages portion. Um, I'm sending random messages to myself, so that, uh, it blocks the other messages to myself that I sent that have addresses that are important, um, but not important for everybody to know. So <laughs> there are new effects. So first, again, I will do without voiceover, and then immediately after, I will say how to do it with voiceover. Um, just to make it a little simpler and so this video doesn't take forever. All right, so I'm just going to click the suggested words over here at the top, just whatever it writes. <laughs> then the button to send, I'm going to hold down, and it gives you these new options. So I can send an invisible ink, which I'm going to do now. Oh, there we go. So now it's arrived in invisible ink, so you have to wipe it away for it to show up. And then after a little bit, it'll fog back up and it will disappear. So, yeah, that's that's how invisible ink works. Let's try the next one. So you're going to send a longer message so it looks better. <laughs> there is gentle. I don't know, if you're trying to apologize to somebody, this one would probably be the best one to use. <laughs> I really don't know how well this is really going to work and or how much anybody's actually going to use this, but here's this one. Uh, click send. So now it shows up gently. Here's how it looks from the receiving end. I don't know why it sends three different messages. <laughs> Sorry, let me turn on voiceover. I want to see Voiceover on. Messages. Message. Text field. Is editing. Quote. I have a quote. I have a lot of fun with this. 320. Voiceover off. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right. And um, let's see. Well, I don't want to send that. Let me do this again, just random message. I don't know what they say, so if it says anything terrible, I am so sorry. But good thing it's not sending to you, right? All right. Then there's loud. So you're yelling at somebody, you just send it like that. Yeah. Let me click on it. So now it shows up loud. Okay, I, I still don't understand why it's sending three, but oh well. Moving on. All right, the next one is sending random messages. <laughs> the next one is slam. No, slam. Uh, if I can click send, mm -hmm. there it goes. So on the receiving mm -hmm. end, you'll see a giant message just slam onto the screen. So, <laughs> all right, it, it is a little dorky. So let me tell you how to do it with voiceover. So with voiceover, voiceover on, Me record audio, button, you want to do, okay, prediction, tap I, tap, gotcha, prediction, gotcha. All right, so when you send, send, button, double tap and hold, double tap and hold to add effect, as it says, yeah, invisible ink, first, to, button. first effect is invisible ink, so when you tap on it, invisible ink, send, button, it tells you what it does, uh, gentle, button. Oh, sorry, it tells gentle. you what it does whenever Send. you receive it. Button. So, gentle, loud, loud, loud. which means it shakes Send. like an alarm clock. Button. Slam. And slam Button. means slam. it slams onto Send. the ground and Button. like you see a little cloud of dust. So that's how you send those. And since I already have voiceover on, uh, well, no, I'm going to do that a little differently. So let me just voiceover off. send it like this with voiceover. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shows up loud. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the next thing, the part without voiceover, uh, there's other effects too. So, okay. Now hold down the button. Now there's two buttons near the top of the screen. I'm going to click the one to the right, and it's going to be full screen effects. So then I'm just going to select on the one that's there first. And you'll hear balloons. Okay. 
which are coming up again because I sent it to myself. <coughs> I don't know what these messages say. So like I said, if they're terrible, I'm so sorry. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to click on the same thing again, but this time I'm going to swipe over to the next one, which is confetti. So it'll, it'll make confetti drop over the whole screen for like happy birthday. So, yeah. <laughs> this next one has lasers. So hold down on the button again. Oops, that was an accident. Okay, let me do this again. <laughs> All right. I apologize for that. All right. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see. Lasers is the third effect. So that's how it'll show up for the other person. Those lasers. Uh, next effect. Is fireworks. So that's how it looks on both ends from the receiver and the sender. Makes the screen go dark too, which is kind of neat. Okay, um, next one. The last one. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Um, is a shooting star. So, send that. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we'll voiceover before voice I get to the on. other Messages. functions. Message. All right. Text so. field is editing. iMessage. Okay. Prediction. Quick voiceover. Actions YouTube. available. Okay. Prediction. Now I'm okay. Type of. Tap I. Gotcha. Okay. Send. I did that again. Button. So you hold down the button. Okay. Double tap. Send with effect. You go to the top. Send with effect. It's a send with effect. Swipe over. Bubble. Button. Okay. Selected. Bubble. Bubble. But screen. And then next screen. Selected. Send with effect. First one will be. Send with balloons. Send with but balloons. Then you swipe over with four fingers. Or page three two fingers, of five. Sorry. Confetti. The next one says confetti. Page three of five. Lasers. Send with lasers. Button. Lasers. Page four of five. Fireworks. Fireworks. Page five of five. Shooting star. Shooting star. So let's just. For kicks and giggles. Send with shooting, shooting star. star. Send so on the full other screen side, effect. A blue shooting star arcs across a black starry sky in bursts. Your eye message. Okay. Full screen effect. A blue shooting star arcs across a black starry sky in bursts. Your eye message. Okay, I got you, my mom. 3.24 p.m. <laughs> what your eye message. Okay, I got you. 3.27 <laughs> p.m. Terrible. Okay. So that's how those effects work. Uh, VoiceOver explains each effect, which is nice. Um, I would show the emojis, but... I don't use the emojis at all for anything, so I am sorry, but all it is is some of the emojis changed and some of them are larger. So show more. let's but click on this button, show more. And this part I'm going to do with voiceover, just just for time's sake. Okay, predict, show more. Button. Okay, you hold down, show more. Attach media. Oh. Attach media. Button. Attach media, which is like full pictures and stuff media. like that. Double tap um, and hold to bring up fast options. Sorry. Uh, that one works same as advertised. I mean, you, it works the same way that it used to, which is quite nice. Digital touch. Digital Button. touch. It's something that if you used an Apple Watch, you will um, remember it. But the problem is, is if you don't have a newer iPhone, um, it's really not going to be so beneficial because you won't get the haptic feedback that you would get normally. So um, that you draw with and it's really not accessible. But yeah, so the next one is... Okay, I gotcha. Uh -huh. R. Show more. Button. Uh, do this again? Show more. Atta messaging apps. Button. Messaging apps. So there is Selected. a small app store built messaging in. Apps. Handwriting. Um, Double tap. 
Page one of three. There's page two of pages. three. Page three of three. Hashtag images. Meme. Meme. And the problem is, is voiceover doesn't meme. read the memes, meme. which is meme. Meme. a little upsetting. Meme. It doesn't even meme. read them whenever they send them to you. So, page three of three. Hashtag so this images. part really isn't helpful. Page three of three. Hashtag images. Adjustable. Page two of three. Me page one of three. Recents. Page one of three. Recents. Now, there's uh, one of these pages on here that's music. I'm not going to play any music because I don't have any of the rights to on YouTube. So whenever you send a song that you're listening to, uh, any song that you're listening to will show up on the list. Um, sorry, hold on. Capar. 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 Message. Capar. Text field. Insertion point at end. Sorry. Any, um, any song that you send on that will be able to be played by the recipient. So if somebody else gets the message, they can play the song from their messaging app. As long as they have Apple Music, which is a little upsetting, but good at the same time. Also, when you send YouTube videos as a link, you're able to play them in the YouTube app, or not in the YouTube app, the uh, messaging app itself. So that's messages, there's really not much to it. Um, let's move on to the watch. Before I actually do that, um, I wanna say one more thing. This update, I really highly do not recommend that you use if you have an iPhone 5 or lower. Um, actually iPhone 6, or, or sorry, not iPhone 6 iPhone 5s and lower because it's not going to run very well on those devices and for iPads iPad fourth generation um, which is the first one that pops up with the lightning port um, any iPad below that please do not download it because it will severely slow down your iPad and it's even slowing down that particular iPad um, iPad Air, Air 2, and any iPad above is probably best to download it. It will run perfectly fine. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my two cents on that. Let's move on to the watch. All right, the Apple Watch with um, the Watch OS 3. Uh, I have to unlock my watch. <laughs> it sensed that I was not touching it. All right. One moment. There we go. It's unlocked. Okay. So this update takes away the friends feature. So now when you tap on the side button, it shows the recent apps that you were using. Uh, I don't want it to show that one. Sorry. Um, so there's a new one called Breathe, which puts you through an exercise. So let me tap on this. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it, but I'm not actually going to do it, so, <laughs> but, or, you know what, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but I'm going to explain what it does. So, whenever you're wearing this and you use this app, uh, it'll t give, make you take a minute of your day to sit down and just relax and breathe very gently. Um, it's really kind of a gimmick, but it's there. Now, to, when you swipe up from the bottom, you have... All of your available uh, toggles. So you can look at the battery one, uh, airplane mode, silence, do not disturb. Then on the bottom, sorry, on the bottom you have uh, Ping iPhone and Lock Apple Watch. Ping iPhone has something very interesting. Um, I did not know about this till recently, but if you hold down on the Ping iPhone, it will make your LED go off on your phone. So if it's in a dark room, you can find it easier if you have some vision. Um, so that's how that works. Now to go from one face to another, if you're using voiceover, use two fingers and swipe in either direction that you have a face. And you could still use the old method or use force touch to bring up the faces. But now, if you're not using voiceover, you just swipe one finger all the way across the top to switch faces. Um, so, yeah. 
And on the Mickey Mouse face, this is something very interesting and I kind of think is neat. But if you tap on the Mickey Mouse face, it will talk. So with voiceover on, whenever you're on this face, it will talk in Mickey's voice every time your voiceover cursor goes over the top. That might be a little annoying, but I find that not be not having to have voiceover on all the time is very nice. Also, in the watch app, you can set it up to where, in voiceover settings, to where it will tap you for every hour and it'll tap you a different way for every minute so you can get the time in a different way also. Um, that is something that is pretty neat, but I've never gotten used to hearing the time like that or feeling the time, I guess. So, yeah. Um, really, nothing much more has changed. The notification center is in the same spot. If uh, I turn on voiceover, it takes as long as it normally did for it to pop up which is uh, quite upsetting, but everything works the same with voiceover. So with the voiceover, it, it talks too, so. Voiceover is still very slow on the Apple Watch. Um, that's one of these features that I've really become very annoyed at. So, I mean, I really can't say much more. Uh, Watch OS 3 is a good update. Sorry, hold on. But voiceover gets in the way severely whenever you're using it. I think it's because it has a slow processor. I'm sure the newer watch models have a better feel and a better um, way of demonstrating this, but or a better way of, uh, sorry, turning on voiceover. This just does not have it. So that's one of the biggest drawbacks of the first-gen Apple Watch, but that's I guess that's what I get for being an early adopter. <laughs> so... Um, there is another feature which I'm not going to attempt, but I will tell you how to do it. So when it is activated, you hold down the button right below the digital crown, and it'll bring up a screen to where you can call 911 for emergencies. It's very helpful if you're in a situation where you could get harmed or hurt in some way. So uh, that's all I have to say about Watch OS 3 and iOS 10. Um, this video is long enough as it is, and if anybody has any questions, I am willing and more than happy to make another video about this. It's just this video is going to be long enough as it is. So there might be a part two. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.